Hi, Dave here with a very quick demo of how we type with voiceover turned on on iPhone and indeed all iOS devices. So to uh, demonstrate this, we will use mail. But is this mail? Mail in compose button. And compose new mail. Text field message body sent from my iPhone. Insertion point at end. Insertion point at start. And you'll notice there, by the way, that it said insertion point of end and insertion point at start. And you can basically toggle between the beginning and end of a text field by double tapping. So uh, that's just a useful way to get to the start or the end. Now, Apple gave us two ways to type. Um, and you can get to these by using your rotor. So when you're in a text field, an extra option will appear in your rotor called typing mode. Words, lines, headings, speech rate, volume, edit, typing mode. Got there eventually, and you then you swipe up or down to select which mode you want. Standard type, touch type, standard typing. So we'll start with standard typing. Standard typing essentially puts your keyboard into the same mode as the rest of your iOS device. So what I mean by that is um, the keyboard is taking up the bottom half, roughly, maybe a third of your screen, and you can explore the keyboard by touch and without actually typing any of the keys. Capital A, capital F, capital X, dictate, space, capital J, capital N. And so on. And none of those keys are being typed. You can also flick left and right if you want. Capital B, capital B, capital, capital X. And if I actually want to type a letter, I then double tap. So if you just want to type the word hello, capital H, I'd hotel. find the H and then double tap. Capital H. Echo. E. E. Double tap. K. J. K. L. 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 Double tap. L. Double tap again. O. O. Find the O and double tap. And you'll also notice that you have um, the phonetic alphabet read after letters. So if you're not sure if it's an S or an F, for example. S. Sierra. F. Foxtrot. So that is uh, quite useful, but you don't have to hang around and wait for that if you know you're on the right letter. More numbers. Period. Period. Hello. So, uh, particularly at the beginning, and you're not maybe too used to the keyword, you might find the standard typing useful. Return. But you I are. think most iOS users at this stage would use the other option that Apple gave us, certainly when you get a bit more used to typing, and that's called touch typing. Touch typing. And the way that works is you move your finger around the keyboard. Capital D. Capital D. C capital F. Till you get to the letter that Foxtrot. you want, and then once you lift your finger, it'll type that letter. Capital R. So if you type the word Romeo, test. Capital T. Capital T. And as soon as I lift my finger, the T w types. W. E. E. G. F. D. So I'm moving my finger Delta along S. the keyboard here. A. S. And just once Zero. I get to the letter I want and S. lift my finger, it types the S. R. T. T. More. Period. Period. You can Test. get very, very fast at this uh, with a bit of practice, and iOS typing, certainly at the beginning, does take a bit of practice. Space. Space. Capital R. Capital I. Capital sp Space. A. A. M. M. Space. Y. 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 Delete. Y. T. T. Y. Y. P. P. I. I. N. N. G. G. Spa space. I. I. N. N. Space. Y. Y. O. O. I. U. U. V. C. C. H. H. Spa space. Touch. G. G. T T G H Y Y O P P I I N N G G space M M O O F F E E more period period mode. That probably wasn't my best attempt ever, but um, you get the idea. Um, and you'll notice I may even when I made a couple of mistakes, autocorrect um, can generally be trusted, so it's pretty useful. And if you learn to rely on that a bit, um, you can get quite quick at typing. And it's basically as simple as that. That's how we type on iOS using voiceover. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please do leave a comment below or feel free to follow me on Twitter at David Nason one That's at D-A-V-I-D-N for November A-S-O-N-1. Thanks a million. All the best. Bye.